I grew up in the 70s. Um, I grew up with a, in a non-Christian home. My mom was a wonderful lady, and but she was a queer lady, a single mom, raising three kids. And we tested her ability to manage both a career and uh, raise kids, uh, especially raising them without Christ in their life. Um, being an actress, she would uh, uh, have parties all the time, and uh, it would not be uncommon for pretty much the whole homosexual community in Houston to show up at our house to party. And they know how to party. <laughs> um, I met, I've, you know, quite frankly, met some of the best, neatest people I've ever met that were lost and uh, unfortunately had fallen into the homosexual lifestyle. Um, even then, before as a Christian, you know, I, I seemed, something seemed to tell me that, you know, that wasn't something that I needed to be a part of. I, uh, so I grew up, that was kind of my life. I'm, I'm, it was, it was, uh, you know, I was in the wild crowd, I did drugs and all that stuff, and I hated Christians, to tell you the truth at that time. I found Christians to be very hypocritical. I found them to be um, all hat and no cattle. Uh, Christians just didn't seem to walk what they talked. Um, and I had no respect for them and really didn't want anything to do with uh, Christianity. And then the whole Jim Jones thing came about and that freaked me out even further. One night I came home and I was really angry. Gee, wonder why? <laughs> I didn't know I was, why I was angry. I just remember I was really angry. And um, I tripped over this book entering my room. Um, somebody had given me this book. Uh, I seem to remember it was just an acquaintance of a friend of mine. and I used it as a doorstop. It was a Bible. It was the first teen Bible called The Way. And I picked it up, and I opened up at the beginning, and it has questions. And it would ask, you know, um, you know, different questions about how you felt. And the very first question is, are you angry? I was like, yeah, duh. <laughs> so it, it said to go to this certain scripture, and after a while I finally found John 3.16. And I read John 3.16, and I read all of, all of John 3, uh, chapter of 3, and then read John 3.16 again, and it resonated. And I, I, uh, at that point, I turned to God, and I said, you know what? I don't know who you are. I don't know anything about you. I don't know about Christianity and all this stuff, but I know this. If this is real, this is what I want. This is what I need. I want to be with you, and I want to believe in Jesus Christ. And at that point, I became a Christian. Um, it was that night that um, immediately the Holy Spirit came upon me, and for a week I had prophetic dreams. Um, long story short, I had a dream that uh, the very first night, uh, and all these dreams were end time type dreams. Um, and that whole week I just felt joy like I had never felt it before. And that very first dream was about joy. And in that dream, and it was an end time dream, it was like right at the point of the rapture, and in that dream was this woman. And I knew this woman was going to be my future wife. In fact, I broke up with my high school sweetheart who I dated all through high school, knowing she was not my wife because she wasn't the girl in the dream. And nine years later, uh, a friend of mine uh, wanted to see my mom in a play, invited a friend of hers, and the girl showed up, and it was the girl in that dream. And I knew she was my wife. And she is today my wife. We have had several kids. And she's really the one who brought me through prayer and teaching the rest of the way of the Lord. Because the truth is, though I became a believer in Christ, I didn't become a follower of Christ. I was afraid. I was afraid of the church. I was afraid of Christians. I was afraid of people messing with my mind. I would just read the Bible, but I wouldn't go to church. And when I finally went to church, I realized... Yeah, the church is full of hypocrites, and I was the biggest one of all. And Jesus is at work in all of us, and everybody's at a different place. And I learned that uh, it's not an instant perfection thing. 
um, in terms of uh, our flesh, but in terms of our spirit, uh, I was born again. And that's really probably um, the time when I became the fullness of that born again uh, was when I first went to that church. Uh, and that's a whole other story, what got me there. But um, from there on, you, sh you should have put me in a closet and just locked the door because I could not keep my mouth shut. I had to tell everybody about Jesus. And the, the gift God gave me of the ministry of reconciliation came alive, and it hasn't even slowed down since. And that's how I came to know Christ. 